Okay, we're back. This is Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org. This is theCUBE, and we are at Big Data After Dark, the Hack Reduce launch. It's still going strong. We've done a number of interviews. And we're here with Eugene Kuznetsov, who's an entrepreneur, uh, a, a, a young man who is supportive of the Boston Big Data community. He sold a, uh, a, a company to IBM, uh, Data Power, and is, is now chairman of a bean, right? Uh, but we're here to talk to Eugene about the big data community in Boston, in Cambridge. Well, first of all, Eugene, welcome. Thank you. Nice to see you. Uh, what do you think of this? Hack Reduce? It really feels like, you know, Boston is, is, is back in terms of the, the enterprise tech community. That's exactly right. And you know what? At a cultural level, this is the kind of thing that we need. You know, when I first heard about CAC Reduce, it was just Chris Lynch and the Atlas guys getting it started. And I said, this is what we need. You know, this is the kind of thing we need in Boston. Everybody coming together and cooperating. The different venture firms, the different entrepreneurs, the different companies, and the government, actually. And, you know, the governor being here is a big part of that. So this is what we need to, frankly, beat the West Coast. That's the competition. It's the guys in San Francisco who think they're the only ones who can do big data. We can do big data better because of the universities that we have here, because of the talent we have here, because of the entrepreneurs we have here. And, you know, Hack Reduce is a great initiative. And, you know, it's wonderful to have a great party and everybody here and all the, you know, experienced people that we see here. But the real point is that this is the kind of thing we need to grow the big data, you know, ecosystem we have in Boston. We have great successes. You know, data power is kind of early on. Natiza, giant success. Vertica, another giant success for big data in Boston. And now we need to do 30 more companies like that, and that's what Hack Reduce is about. I asked the governor about the life sciences industry here. Obviously, it's been a huge success for this region. Do you think that big data in Boston can be as big and prominent as a life sciences business? You know, absolutely. Not in terms of, you know, it, yes, it's different. But if you look at, you know, Millennium Pharmaceuticals, some of these other companies, they're big data companies. It's just we didn't have the term. In terms of the core things that they do, which is take genomic data, take uh, proteomics data, process it, and then figure out the next medicine, figure out the next, you know, kind of treatment protocol, the next medical device. They were big data companies before we had the term big data. So it's totally what Boston should be doing. You know, it's interesting. We, we heard Peter Goldmacher put forth the premise that we've been working on for a number of years at, at, uh, at Wikibon, which is that big data practitioners, the consumers of technology, are going to create more value than the suppliers of technology. And you think about that, that's sort of a shift in our industry. First of all, do you buy that? And second of all, as an entrepreneur, does that change how you might go about, you know, thinking about starting companies? Well, in a way, but you know what? That's the old pattern, which is the next layer up. You always have to provide the next layer of value. So, you know, 20 years ago, you could provide value in the stack by offering a Unix operating system. Today, that's open source. You know, it's Linux, it's BSD, great. So you innovate at the next layer up, the next layer up. And I think big data is the same way where you're going to have to provide more to the customer in terms of vertical level intelligence, you know, life sciences expertise, travel expertise like Hopper, you know, online privacy expertise like Abin, my company. You do those kinds of things, and then at the next level, the customer, the consumer makes their money. So you always move up the stack. I don't think big data is any different. Can you tell us a little bit more about Abin? Sure. So what Abin does, it says, you know what, consumers today, are actually worried about their online privacy. They want to take control of it, they want to share some data and be part of big data. And in other cases, they don't want to share it. And so we made a set of uh, browser extension and online services that let you take control of your online life. And basically say, this is what I want to share, and these are the things I want to opt out of. Is there a play there? I mean, geolocation is becoming you know, so popular. Is there a way to sort of engineer privacy into geolocation? Is that something that you're working on? Yeah, absolutely. And the way we see it is, look, it's not about perfect anonymity. It's about having choice. And you want to share your location maybe with your family members, but you don't want to share it with a million different advertisers. And that's what we make possible. Make it easy for you. What are your preferences? Excellent. All right, Eugene, well, listen, thanks for spending some time with us. You know, congratulations on all your success, and uh, thanks for supporting Hackerdoos. Thank you. All right, take care. Keep it right there. We'll be right back after this.